Okay, so what happens when we bring in a student file and we find that the object is too large or it doesn't fit the current build volume, but clearly it does not look like there's an issue? What do we do? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it to fit. And when I do it, I find that the student had this small little piece that must have been outside of their screen that they um, incorporated in their print file. Now in MakerBot, I can't do anything with this. Um, and if I rotate, I could see that it's floating. So it's totally not gonna work for me. It's gonna create kind of havoc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Tinkercad and I'm going to create a new design. And I'm gonna bring in my student's file, okay? I'm going to use my import feature to choose a file and I'm using my um, my Google Drive, so pardon pardon me as I search for it. Um, I believe it's down here, and I'm gonna go with Nate's. Okay, when it comes in, first of all, my work plane is set to the default, so it's not gonna show quite the right size. Oh, sorry, forgot to state that once I chose my file, I do need to import. Now it's in, and you can see that it's much larger than my work plane. So I'm going to edit my grid and change my work plane to my Replicator 2, which is my printer. And it's still not quite right. And I don't want to resize his keychain because he made that based on the size that is expected in class. But I still have this part over here that is um, kind of floating, not really where we need it to be. So as a teacher, I don't want to change his work but I do want to make the file printable. So I'm going to use a box hole and I'm going to lift it right up so it engulfs the object that I need to remove. I'm then going to select both objects and group them. And once I do, you'll see that now the grips, ah, undo. Now the grips make my object, his object, much smaller and ready to use. I can select his object, I can click D to make sure that it's down on the work plane. I can check it from below and see that I do not have my grid, that it's solid, that it's touching on all areas. Um, and then when I rotate up, I can see that it really is ready for print. Go ahead, design properties, change it back to his name, and then um, key white, save it. As you can see, when you import an object, the object comes in as a solid and it is always colored white. So I can't double click and change and edit it the way I could have if I had the actual um, file for it. But this works perfectly fine for making a printable file. Design, download for 3D printing, STL, wait for it to download. I go back to MakerBot, delete this file. I can always do file, new to create a new fresh file. Add file. Now I'm going to go to my downloads, grab his, and pop it in. The reason I would do this is so that his file was printed. It's a small error. There may be deduction in points for grade for that, but ultimately I want to be able to print the file for the student. I don't want to hold it up. Sometimes it's the weekend, sometimes it's overnight. Um, so I would go in and I would make a small modification like that. Now the print fits properly. I don't have to rescale it, don't have to do anything to it. It's ready to go. I can now preview it and make sure that it's set and then go ahead and print it. Double checking it here. It's right on the work plane. So one, two, three, fourth layer. I should see it and it builds. No issues, it's a 20 minute print works perfectly. Okay, thank you.